in this video we are going to learn about the synkinetic reflex and this synkinetic reflex is also called the synkinetic near reflex and why this reflex is called the synkinetic near reflex and the reason is whenever we look at the screen whenever we look at the reading material whenever we look at the near object there are three different beautiful phenomena which occur in our beautiful eye and the first phenomena is called the accommodation right and the second one is called the convergence and the third one is called the constriction of the pupil right these three different phenomena occur in our eye and why these three phenomena are very important are very necessary while we are reading while we are looking at the near object this is the topic of discussion so the first phenomena is accommodation and you know the definition of the accommodation that this is increase in the dioptric power of the crystalline lens and you know that the dioptric value the dioptric power of the crystalline lens is 15 diopters right and while accommodation this dioptric value or figure or power of the crystalline lens will increase and the lens will become more convex more globular the posterior surface of the lens will become more convex and this makes the lens to increase its power right this is called accommodation and why this accommodation is necessary while we are reading and the reason is that this increase in the dioptric value the dioptric power of the crystalline lens will make the near object clearer so while looking at the near object the accommodation is very necessary to make that object clearer so as this object come closer to my eyes then the lens will make more and more accommodation the lens will become more and more convex the lens will become more and more globular so this phenomena is called the accommodation so keep it in mind that if i want to see my screen clearly then i have to exert my accommodation my lens has to exert the accommodation to make this screen clear to make this pen clear to make this mouse clear right so that's why accommodation is very necessary if i want to see clearly my near objects and the muscles which is involved in the accommodation is called the ciliaris muscle you know that the muscle of the ciliary body of the uvial tract the intermediate uvea you know right so this ciliaris muscles is attached with the suspensory ligaments or the zonules right the fibers like structures right and while accommodation while exerting the accommodation that ciliaris muscle will become contracted will become stiff right and the sonules or the suspensory ligaments will get more relaxed and due to this relaxation of the suspensory ligaments ligaments or the sonules the lens will become more convex or more globular and this thing will increase the convexity of the lens and this is called accommodation and now the second phenomena is called the convergence of the eyes and why this convergence is necessary while reading while looking at the near object right suppose i'm looking at this pen and you know that i have two eyes everyone has two eyes right so eye number one and eye number two it means the retina number one or the retina number two so if i look at the pen at this pen the image number one of this pen will make on my right eye on my right retina you can say or image number two on my retina number two or the left retina right so right now i have two different images on my retina number one and retina number two so with the help of the convergence these two images on the two retina will become single so that's why this convergence will help me in the binocular single vision to make two images into one with the help of the fusion so that's why convergence is very necessary while looking at the reading to make two images into one because two images will get superimposed and it will become the single and that is called the binocular single vision as well and now the third beautiful phenomena is called the pupil constriction and why this pupil constriction is necessary while reading you can see whenever the pupil will get constricted it will exert it will develop a pinhole effect and this will increase the visual acuity 
the sharpness of the visual acuity right so that's why the sphincter pupillae muscle will gain its nerve innervation from the brain and this constriction of the pupil will make the things will make the reading material will make this pen more clearer due to the help of the pinhole effect so that's why three of these beautiful phenomena are very important while reading while looking at the near object hope this is clear and in the next video we will learn the every single inch every single point of these three beautiful phenomena we will learn about the accommodation reflex we will learn about the convergence we will learn about the pupil constriction the pathways of these three beautiful phenomena